Tickets are on sale now for our 20th anniversary Back to the 80s and 90s WrestleFest Birthday Bash Saturday, November the 13th at Memorial Hall in Melrose, Massachusetts. Everybody had a click. Van Dam and Sabu hung out. Me and Sandman hung out. Taz hung out with Paul E and Tommy Dreamer. So everybody had their own little clique. If you didn't start cocaine, you was not to come around me. That was the litmus test. Me and Cronus were starting coke. To a point. To a point. Crawlers would be like, Jay. Oh. Paul Bearer, he's ribbing us. Yeah. <laughs> Crawlers would be like, Jay. And he had his pants pulled open. And he's looking down. He said, I can't find my dick. Because Coke draws your dick up. Whether you know it or not. It makes your shit this big. But I mean, it got to the point where it was like a turtle going back into its shell? Yeah. Really? So, I was on the other side of the room, and I pulled my pants open. Corner said, Jack, somebody stole my dick. I pulled my pants open. I said, Corner, they got me too. <laughs> My dick was gone. Was it a special kind of magic cocaine you had that <laughs> night or what? I don't know. I don't know. Was that the only time you remember that happening? No, it happened every time I did it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it was, was this one of the first times? Because I know you said you didn't get into cocaine until you were, were there for about a year. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what But it, once I started doing it. The little Houdini action. It wasn't no stop, bro. Yeah. Paul even coming to me sometime and give me my finish. And he'd be like, Jack, come in. Let me see it. Oh, he'd do that to you? Yeah, I had coke all on my lip, all on my nose. Did you ever have to do it to him? Mm. No, okay. That was my actually, was that the first time I met him? He was in a van doing it. Yeah. It, um, what the fuck was the name of that place? It was in Connecticut. And Tony Rumble was the promoter for the local Connecticut ECW shows because it was away from up this way. Mm. And he goes, my nickname back then was actually Habib because at one point they wanted to have me be like an Arab manager of some kind. Mm -hmm. He goes, no, you want to meet Paul Heyman? I said, sure. And so he went down a little hill. It was an indoor soccer stadium. What the fuck was the name of it? But anyway, we went into the minivan and Paul e was having a grand old time with himself and his nostrils in the minivan before the show yeah. began. Not, no, the, the sting was where they ran in in Connecticut later on that had the strip club attached to it. I don't know if you remember that. But what was the name of this place that had the soccer field? Well, whatever. Anyway, that was how I met Paul Heyman. But, um, lost my train of thought again, believe it or not. How could we ever do that on this crazy show? <laughs> <laughs> Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year of unknown with professional wrestling content galore, and we need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after we review the previous night's Monday Night Raw, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with the unpredictable WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights after WWE, NXT, and AEW at 10 p.m., you never know who's going to show up on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey Through the 80s and 90s on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday nights after the lights go down at the Thunderdome on SmackDown, it's John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. If you want early, ad-free access to all of our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and to help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.